Baba, Manto Vetabelate. This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. There is a lot of hopelessness in our nation. And the hopelessness is based on the fact that the generation has a man that no longer knows the acts of God. How did we arrive here? That's where I want to close. Because my aim is not to produce a man in this meeting who rejoices in the acts of God, but a man who is aligned so that God can show himself strong to you. So that your life can become an acting board, like a drama platform. That's what he wants to do. The reason why the acts of God have become scarce in our nation is that the people have abandoned these ways because those two realities of God cannot be separated. Nothing produces the acts of God like the mastery of his ways. And it is because the average Nigerian Christian has devised means that are strange to God to get things done. How many ways do we pass exams? What are the number of, of ways you can employ to pass an exam? You can read, okay? That should be all in a good day. What other means? Someone can sit for you. He can impersonate you. What other ways? You can bribe your way in cash or in kind, right? You can even bully your way. Like you're walking with a gun. You don't show it too much. You just lift your clothes. I said, A, A, 68, or, 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 or 86A. And then you walk out. And the person knows, or you, or you send a, 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 a WhatsApp message that shows his wife and his children in shop right. We are monitoring you. So, Pastor, because we have departed from the ways of God, the acts of God have become scarce. And many of the things we celebrate are actually things that other men can do. It was the shape of existence in Egypt because the freedom of the children of Israel was by the acts of God. It was ten plagues, God acting. And the end of the acting was that a man was brought into a plane of conviction that ah, you are more than us. So we let the people go. The reason why many are bound is that the acts of God have become very scarce. A people rose in Egypt who no longer knew God. And in the day God wants to reintroduce his acts, he doesn't come to a congregation. He finds a man after the order of Moses and takes that man to school. I perceive that in the family that you represent, the reason why there are things you have been asking God to do and have not been done is that God does not move into a family without a Moses. He's looking for a man that he can school along his ways. And when that man rises in that home that man becomes a demonstrator of the acts of god the reason why our campuses with the increasing number of fellowships are becoming darker it used to be morality and cultism now it's drugs even though churches are, are, are getting more it's because you see the moses company has faded prayer has been introduced as a tool to just receive from god it has not been introduced as a journey in classes. I went for a meeting. A young man said repetitive prayer is okay. You know, Peter Daniel he raised that issue. Thank God he balanced it. He knows how I used to relate with him. That's why he called me his elder brother. And I said, okay, there's nothing wrong with repetitive prayer. You know how Baba Allah used to pray? He starts from his house. God shows him a vision. That, um, I want to open your eyes. And he goes to the mountain. Because there was only one promise God gave him. He stays with one promise. You know, Baba didn't operate in English. How many of you know? So it begins with Oluwa. And he can continue saying for one week. That's his prayer. Are you with me? After a while, you will not hear Shimiloju again. The only thing you hear is Oju, 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 Oju. That's how they pray. Is it that God cannot heal? He said he can heal, but he doesn't heal all the time. 
And so a spiritual man knows when God wants to heal and when he doesn't want to. When God is not so interested, we send the person to the hospital. I'm a father or Lord. How much of the acts of God have you known? If we gave you an opportunity to testify to what God has done in your life and in the family that you represent, how many things will you say? I came to announce that the reason why there are few is because there's no Moses. And God is looking for Moses. He's looking for a man that he can interrupt. And by the knowledge of his ways, that man becomes a gate into the doings of God. Eyes have not seen. The Bible says, ear has not heard and is not all entered into the hearts of men. What God has in store, not just by education, but by activity for those who love him. But the Bible says that these acts have been revealed to us by the Spirit. Because the Spirit searched. He's like a, a, a miner. The spirit exhumes. He goes deeper to check what else has God can God do that he has not done. And he's waiting for a man who will give him a privilege to become the guinea pig upon which God will act it. I am a testifier that you can go from back of the class to the front of the class in one month. I, I mean you can go from back of the class and start representing your state in two months. In the day we want to see his acts, men must rise like Moses who will leave the valley and journey to the mountain so that they can apprehend him. Don't, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. I gave you a 10 minute period. What he sent is, is an advanced part. It's an angel that came. And when they come, they, they don't come in silently. You will find the multiplication as that angel begins to move. <laughs> Uh, uh, the first thing is a Moses too is that the people must rise who have no options outside God. If it's done, there need to be you. If you will not come, then let it not be done. Then you will see the acts open because God does not want to operate in a fashion that can be mirrored by any other being. You want to see God who can provide? One of our brothers was reading, was reading George Muller's book. George Muller was an old evangelist who used to feed people miraculously. He also runs an orphanage. And they woke up one morning, Brochon was saying to us, and they began to pray because there was no food in the orphanage. The children were over 50 of them. So they stayed in devotion too long because he knew after devotion, he would tell them to take their baths and there will be no food. Unknown to him, while those thoughts were going up in his heart, a journey began from Ibadan. And what they brought from Ibadan was all kinds of supplies. They didn't know. Because in that area in Ogumosho, there's no network. Um, so, when they finished devotion, Roshan said they needed to tarry a little. And his wife decided to ask each of the children what they wanted to eat. So one says bread and egg. You come, say bread. He said egg and yam. Ah. You come. He said rice and beans. You come. He said, um, tell of rice. You know how children can be very... Say me, I want to eat porridge. No, me is spaghetti. It's indomie. Oh God. The one who was hearing those children was, was, was dropping what they needed in the hearts of everybody. Because when they eventually saw a text that, see, there's something at your door in case thieves come to carry it. When they got to the door... They found out I stand before God, I lie not that all those 50 combinations came from a battle. Everything they wanted to eat, there was egg for the spaghetti guy, for the Indomie guy. Everything that these children needed was on ground because God not, it not only exists, He acts, but He needs a Moses.